good morning. I was trying to stay out of it. No, I wasn't. That's a lie. I was going to actually stay out of it. And then I saw a tweet this morning that I retweeted it. It got my attention a little bit. But this is all I'm going to say. I had, you know, made a video. And then I thought, you know what? I'm not going to go. I'm not going to delve that deep into this. Everybody on here, me included, it's been a while. But there was a time when I had had enough. You know, people had came at me and came at me and... I'm sure that a lot of people have forgotten about that because it has been so long. But I even made a video and I said, you know, I'm going through this in my life and um, can y'all lay off me? And of course, nobody did. Nobody laid off. But that was all right. You know, it, um, I handled it. But anybody on here that's been pushed to the point where you've kind of broke, you've been broken. Um, then you should understand when somebody else has been pushed to when they're broken. I remember when Beth said, you know what, I, I can only take so much and I snapped. And that's when she said all that stuff to me. And then she called in and apologized. My nanny always told me, throughout your whole life, Randy, forgive easily and often. Forgive often and forgive easily because you're going to have to. And she was right. And because I expect the same out of people. You know, she didn't say forget, but she did say forgive. And um, I try to do that. And so when you when Beth called in and apologized, I, I forgave her and I forgave pretty quickly and easily. If you ask me, I mean, that's how I feel. Uh, she said, I, I snapped. I couldn't take anymore. Then I see the same thing happen with Janie. She snapped. She couldn't take anymore. Did she engage? Absolutely. Somebody in every situation, as, as Dr. Phil would say, every situation needs a hero. And uh, somebody in that situation needed to be a hero. Who was? Nobody. What happened? She went over the edge. And so I, I just want ever you always talk about member berries. Take your member berries and try to remember a time when you was pushed to the point where you thought, I cannot take any more. Then go into a chat to defend yourself and get blocked. That is you know, that if I'm having a stream about somebody, I try not to, but I have, and probably will again, um, I make sure that person's not blocked, because I don't think it's fair that they can't have their say. In fact, I always offer them a link, because I think they should be able to come on panel. But, um, that, I think that, that could have solved a lot, just let people have their say, Every situation needs a hero, and you want, Beth, you wanted forgiveness, and I gave it to you. I, I, I don't care what you said about me. I don't care if you want me to die. I don't care. I don't care. But to call me dumb because I didn't believe that what you said was that you minored in forensics and could trace an envelope. That's what you said. You didn't say you was... Um, that you minored in forensic psychology, which is a completely different field than uh, forensics, forensic anthropology, which is what you said that you minored in. I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. I have, am I gonna, am I engaging with you? Yes, yeah, but I'm sorry that I'm engaging, but I'm just telling you what you said if, if you want to come, come correct. That's, that's what you got to do when you want to come at somebody. You've got to make sure you got your ducks in a row. And mine are in a row if, if, but I don't, I'm not going to get on YouTube and act a fool. I've never said I'm a crime channel. I don't know where you got that from because I got into the Rosenbaum trial because I get into trials and I watch stuff I always have. I've not, I've not changed who I am 
and who I've said I am from the jump. I have never changed. I've always done what I do. My channel is just what it says it is, me running my mouth. Uh, and I've never said anything besides I work at Wendy's and I run my mouth. That's it. That's all. Um, so that's it. Don't, don't come for me. Don't. Because this isn't a fight that you want. I, I'm asking y'all as human beings to sit back and remember a time when you was pushed to a point when you felt like, hey, I can't take this anymore and, um, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to snap. And then I want you to, to please move on to some, I'm sorry about my phone, y'all. I haven't, yeah, but I haven't set, yeah, but sent me a thing for my phone and I haven't set it up yet. I want you to treat others the way you want to be treated. It's that simple. It really is. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Let's have a great day today. I'm going to. Thank you for listening. Bye, y'all.